Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after men's pursuit in second week of November in Namorave. With us, the winner, Kenton Fiume of France, uh, can turn a fantastic second part of the competition. Can you just take us through that part, please? Uh, I must to... It's, it's a new thing for me to start on the lead after a good sprint. And uh, yes, it's a little bit strange because it's different preparation for before the race on the warm-up and uh, at the hotel also. But uh, when we start, uh, yes, I must to stay focused and my big goal is to uh, put all the bullets in the target. But uh, it's not what happened on the, on the two on the two first shooting and uh, after this we we are together with a lot of good athletes with Johannes, Turla, Emilien, uh, Antonin, Tarier, uh, Lucas and uh, some other and uh, I think in my head it will be a very hard fight for for try to win but um, I know as a biathlon uh, when you when you when you shoot clean, you can expect to to a good race, and uh, that's what happened. What what that's happening, and uh, on the last shooting, I'm a little bit surprised. We're alone with Emilien to uh, clean shooting, and uh, after I push hard in the last loop for for the week victory. And how are these preparations different for this competition? You said hotel here a bit different, <laughs> more mental pressure or. There is n nothing uh, different for in my preparation. It's a little bit more stressful uh, before the race, but um, yes, I must to prepare for for each race. It's uh, every time different. But uh, when we start um, alone in the lead, you don't know what happened in the back. And uh, yes, but that's a good day for me. <laughs> and it's the first season that you win three times in the same season. So where do you think you made the most improvement compared to previous seasons? Um, uh, I have uh, more experience, I have uh, more training, I have more, yeah, I'm more, more a lot, I think. And uh, yes, it's hard to, to say what's, what is the difference between uh, last season, but uh, yes, I, I can expect more win this season uh, with uh, better shooting in the pro, but uh, it's a little bit harder than uh, and, uh, World Championship. But um, yes, when I shoot uh, good, I can expect to, to the win. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's the key. I, uh, I know I ski fast and uh, I can win when I shoot clean. And it's one week to go. You are in great form. What do you expect from last week? Like uh, like this week, uh, I expect uh, clean shooting and ski fast. And after when uh, I'm off, happy of my race, I can uh, I can think about the podium or victory. But uh, after I can control the performance of the other competitor. And which relay will you take tomorrow if you take any? <laughs> uh, I reach uh, race and uh, mix, and uh, yes, I will finish uh, relay with uh, Simon. For the girl, I don't know uh, for the moment uh, which leg uh, and which girl will uh, race, but uh, yes, that's good for finish uh, the week. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Second place went to Yellow Bip, Johannes Tinje of Norway. Johannes, what a big, big podium for you today. Can you just uh, take us through the race first, please? Yeah, it's uh, starting in uh, Bib 9. Uh, it's important to ski hard from start. You don't have the ability to uh, or the chance to yeah, develop your race from start because you're already 40 seconds back and you need to gain it as fast as you can. Um, missing one in the first prone, but then two clean shootings after put me in uh, the lead group. And uh, yeah, a good final lap put me in second place, so it could have been a, a total uh, different story. When you face the similar face <laughs> uh, in the last 500 meters, what was your plan knowing you've lost a few times to Emilien in such man-to-man -man yeah, encounters? Know, it's, uh, when it's not a fight for the first place, it looks like uh, Emilien is... He's going on vacation or something. <laughs> <laughs> but every time it's about winning, it's, it's not possible to beat him. Uh, so this was my, uh, 
my aim to like uh, yeah, try to send him on vacation <laughs> mentally. So uh, I could not save for the sprint because he would beat me there. So I tried in the woods, and uh, I managed to get one or two seconds in the in the final flat part before the last downhill. And you are in the middle of a very strong battle with your teammate Sturla. Can you tell us how it is from first person to be in the middle of such intense fight? Yeah, it's really hard. Uh, fighting with Sturla is such a great athlete and we have seen his results uh, yeah, from, uh, from the start of the season. But, uh, you know, this year from Oberhof and in, uh, in the World Champs and so on, he's been really good. Um, so it's not easy to you know, make a good gap uh, with the points because I'm, uh, I'm always missing a little bit too much uh, now. So I have to struggle with, with myself and my shooting, but also for the yellow bib. And I feel that with my shooting today uh, and you know, this year, it's been uh, a little bit weird that I'm still in the fight for the yellow bib, but I have to improve to, uh, to secure it because one small one wrong step next week it can be the hell for uh, me or for Stula. and where when you are searching for this elusive form on shooting range have you ever had more intense confrontations with your own self when you look for a good form and fighting for every millimeter actually right yeah, now you always try to to uh, yeah, solve the problems and uh, and that's maybe a problem in itself that you try to look for something that it's not points to search for. Uh, so you try and you feel and, and you, you really want to do it so you are not that relaxed and you don't trust your positioning so much. Uh, so, you know, this, this sport is, is quite tough. One season you, you have no problems with it and then suddenly you do one or two bad races and it changes everything for the next two months. So. It's quite uh, a tough one, and uh, yeah, uh, this is also what what we like with it because it, it should be challenging. Uh, it's it's not easy. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Third place went to Emilien Jacqueline of <laughs> France. The rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Returning from holidays. Oh yes, not already, but soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Emiliano, first podium after your unforgettable show in the pursuit of Pokljuka. What worked well today for you? So what what worked well for you today? Uh, I mean, it's this podium is really important for me. Uh, I think it's a, it's my first podium um, with this condition. I mean, I'm so tired physically, mentally. Um, Every every day, I just want to be at home. Uh, I'm so tired, but just during the um, the race, uh, I'm really focused about what I have to do to make not the podium, but a, a good race and to to improve myself to be better next year. I mean, uh, uh, since uh, we are here in Novemesto, I try to to change my my mind of shooting in prone in standing too. And um, I think it's quite important to to try to to try over things and to be better next year. But yeah, my legs uh, my legs are not so not so great, um, and mentally I'm uh, I'm just so tired. I think uh, after the mass start in uh, in Poljuka, I was uh, de devastated, and uh, it was really hard for me to. To, to look to, to Nové Mesto, I was just so disappointed about this master and uh, I think yeah, uh, since, uh, since uh, this last year, uh, this last race of the World Championships, I'm, uh, I'm done. I just want to, to have a, a break and uh, so I'm really proud to, to make this podium with this condition. But your disappointment in Pokljuka started with the prone shooting, which you repeated here. Was it a technical problem because you solved it the next day, basically? Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, in, in Pokljuka, I thought it was a, a technical problem. Uh, for me, it was, uh, it was sure, 100%, because uh, 
I made a, a clean shooting just before and after zero. What's happened? I don't know. It's too weird. But uh, after the, the second time there, uh, it was crazy because I, I changed some things uh, on my rifle and I made the same thing, exactly the same. And um, so it was really hard for me to to understand that maybe the, the problem is not about the rifle, but about me. But this kind of mistakes is too big uh, to understand it. And I think it's because of my head was totally uh, uh, destroyed or tired. Um, this year is really hard for me. I mean, of course, it's not a bad year. Uh, I'm world champion again. Uh, I'm six at the, uh, the overall is not bad. Uh, it's quite the same as last year. But um, for me, it was like up and down, crash, broken rifle. Every day, every day I, I learned a lot and it was always one thing who didn't happen well. And so for me, every time uh, after every race, I try to stay calm. OK, be confident. Just look the, the other races. But uh, after the mass start in, in uh, Pokyuka, I think I, I was done. It was too much for me this year. And uh, that's why I'm so tired now. And um, I will try to continue on my way in, uh, in uh, Ostersun. Uh, try to, to work a lot. And uh, if I work well, I'm able to make podium with my, uh, my, uh, my slow speed at the moment. But uh, yeah, I have to, to stay focused just during one hour per day. <laughs> But who helped you sort out your head after Pokluka? Uh, I mean... Uh, or you just went deep within yourself to find new energy? Of course, energy. My, my girlfriend tried to help me, but uh, it, like, it was like a depression uh, after Pokluka because um, after the, the world title, I didn't felt happy, but just like if I had a, a big weight on me and mm -hmm. I did it again. It was no, no joy, just, I, I can explain, it was weird. And so I was really focused on the master because I wanted to, to show me and show to everybody that I'm not just the guy who is able to, to make one great race per year, but uh, that's why I was so excited about the master. And so to have this problem who was totally weird and uh, bigger than everything it was too hard for me mentally and uh, it was a uh, not bad uh, day after this tomorrow you we see you or you take a break uh, i don't know i have to to uh, to talk with my coach um, we saw that uh, at this moment the french team is in good shape i mean uh, Quentin, simon uh, show it and antonin too he came back uh, after one year really hard last year He's, uh, spe he's faster uh, as he made all the, uh, the season long. And um, so we know that he, we, do, we didn't care about who is on the relay. We, we know that we are able to, to make great race. But yeah, for sure, I, I don't want to, to make mistakes again in a relay. Uh, I don't want to punish all the team uh, because of me. So uh, maybe I will, uh, I will have a rest day tomorrow. All the best in Östersund. Keep it up. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you.